Reilly says, it's a celebration of Irish literature, Irish culture, the Irish book, and in fact, the book in general. And it's also a tribute to our parents, uh, Desi Moore and Kelly. Um, it was a long, a wonderful, a terrific journey. Funny, tough at times, impasses, shortcuts, very few. A couple of surprises, one from Belfast, thanks to Joe. Um, and also revisiting a lot of old friends I hadn't read in many, many years, and that was part of the fun of it. But really, it's a celebration of the book. And I'm going to keep this quite short. I, first of all, I'd like to thank my own family, my own personal family, um, who suffered it, my extended family, who were very, very much a part of it. I would like to thank Michael Brennan, who unfortunately can't be here tonight, who leapt at the idea of it, presented it to Joe, and they came back, and with great joy, I saw a contract on my desk and surprise within six weeks, signed it gloriously, and then got fierce depressed. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I have to read them. <laughs> However, we did, and like I said, it was a great journey. And I suppose going through it, I began to feel that this is only the tip of an iceberg. That's all it is, nothing else. It's only an introduction to what you can read and what is out there. And I suppose the most delightful thing for me is to celebrate it with the opening of this shop again. One of the people who kind of sent me congratulations put me in touch with a poet and two lines, and I think been the person that sent it, Seamus Heaney, and the two lines he put me in touch with, I asked our intrepid front um, desk woman, Rosemary, to look it up, which she did, and she found the full poem. And I want to finish by reading it out to you, because I think that this encapitulates, if you like, the spirit of the bookshop, the spirit of what our parents did, <coughs> and the spirit of what this book hopes to set out to be. It's from the Czech poet, I can't pronounce it, but I know it ends in Milash. <laughs> And it's entitled, And Yet the Books. And I'll just read it to you, and after that, uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. Um, the books for sale. And might I say, incidentally, that being the modest man he is, our county mead man here, forgot to mention that he has just published an excellent book, which had it, had it in time. <laughs> <laughs> and it's over in the corner there, and it's good night. I'll ever I sleep in trim. And I can guarantee you, if you want to feel the thunk of a ball going over the bar when County Mead win the All-Ireland final, you'll get it in that book. <laughs> if you want to feel a slash slidden into a bog, it's in that book. And he'll take you into through every single town, village, and I'm sure you'll be delighted to sign them as well. <laughs> and we also have here Johnny Doohan, who's just published a new book as well, which is absolutely stunning. It's a spiritual life through his own songs and well worth reading. We also have copies of that here. And we have a few other authors here as well, I'm glad to say. Tom Kilroy, I see Joe McGowan here. Uh, it's just nice to have you all. It's like one big family. And I think that you'll enjoy this poem as I was struck by it this morning. It says, And yet the books. <coughs> and yet the books will be there on the shelves. Separate beans. That appeared once, still wet, as shining chestnuts under a tree in autumn. And touched, cuddled, began to live, in spite of fires on the horizons, castles blown up, Tribes on the march, planets in motion. We are, they said. Even as their pages were being torn out and our buzzing flame licked away their letters. So much more durable than we are. Whose frail warmth cools down with memory, disperses, perishes. I imagine the earth when I am no more. Nothing happens. No loss. It's still a strange pageant. Women's dresses. Dewey Lilacs, a song in the valley. Yet the books will be there on the shelves, well born, derived from people, but also from radiance heights. Thank you. Thank you.